Hi friends, it's Lola and I'm back with a new series called Colors as Humans. Our first color is red, so whoever guessed red on my TikTok and YouTube post, congratulations! When I think of red, I think of someone who is very confident and energetic, has bold attention-grabbing hairstyle, um, bold accessories, and fitted clothes to show off the figure because they are confident. Now that we have our list, let's move on to sketching. I spent hours looking through Pinterest to find inspirations for this, and I put them together like a mood board here. I like to split the screen so the reference doesn't block what I'm drawing, unless when I need to work on details, I would use the reference inside of Procreate. So I sketch out her pose here. And I think this pose makes her look confident, which is good. For the hairstyle, this one looks really fun and attention grabbing, but man, I'm for sure gonna struggle painting this. I think this necklace looks pretty cool and bold, so I added it in here, but I wasn't too sure it fits the whole outfit and the vibe. It might be misleading as yellow too since it's a star. I think the outfit I found here looks pretty cool and I think it kind of show off her nice figure I guess. It shows that she's confident basically, I think. All the boxes are checked, I'm gonna start cleaning up the sketch now. I just used the eraser tool to erase the chicken scratch lines here and there, then sketch it over with more precise lines. I also use a lot of liquify tool to fix the face, I mean the sketch overall because I'm not that good at sketching, so it needs a lot of fixing. Also please don't forget to flip the canvas and see if it looks okay or not. I also erase some overlaying parts that looks not right, um, and then I move on to the next step. After the sketch is done, I lower the opacity of that layer and start adding colors for each part in separate layers. You can combine parts in the same layer too if you don't want to have too many lasers. <laughs> lasers. If you don't want to have too many layers, or sometimes the drawing app would limit the amount of layers. I combine parts like eye whites and lower lip in one layer iris and upper lip in another layer and lashes and eyebrows would be in the same layer something like that i couldn't decide whether i wanted the star to be um silver or gold or yellow you know spoiler alert i end up not using this and give her a different necklace charm can you guess what i give her instead let's move on to the shading part i always alpha lock the layers before i start shading I can't believe that I didn't know about this feature for so long. It saved me so much time now. After I block out the shadow with the flat brush, I move on to smudge the blocky shadows that I create to make it smoother, but try not to overblend it so I don't lose the details. As I paint, I keep lower the opacity of the sketch layer so I can see what I'm working on right now and in the end, I would end up not using the sketch layer at all The initial lip color that I gave for her was kind of light so I made it darker and more red because she's supposed to look bold I wasn't sure what color I should give her eyes because if it's red, it will be too red overall but if it's yellow, yeah, it does stand out and also like on the warm color side of it. But I was thinking maybe green would be nice because it contrasts with red. But I'm afraid it would be too far away from the red side because it's the opposite side of the color wheel. I don't know, but I end up with yellow. Also, did you guys see how bad it looked when they flipped the canvas? Oh my god, her head looks... She looks like a moon. Usually, I don't have that kind of dark outline around the edges like this, but 
I kind of accidentally made it too dark, but I end up loving it, so I'm keeping it. Flipping the canvas again. There's so much needed to be fixed today. Are you ready for the bling bling? Oh my god, highlighting is my favorite part. So I'm gonna shut up so you can enjoy it. For the iris, I select just the bottom parts of it and blur it out just to make the eye softer. I do that in my eye tutorial, so if you watch it, you would know. Go watch it! Anyway, this is the new necklace I give her and I was sketching this on my way home on the subway and it was very shaky. So it was kind of wonky and my head start hurting so i stopped after like 30 minutes of attempting to do this because the commute was so long and i forgot my airpods so i don't want to just sit there doing nothing like a psychopath you know it was kind of hard to go into details with the hair on this shaky train so i moved on to shade her body instead and after that, I just create the silhouette of the hair here and then some basic shading. Couldn't go into details. Up until this point, this is when I go home and continue drawing on my bed with a bad posture, of course. You know how I mentioned in my last skin video that I'm aware of like in skin shading techniques, there's some kind of undertones like using the blue tonish kind of color for the shadow and I knew that but I chose not to do it because I'm lazy anyway um, I tried it here and I loved it so I'm gonna do it from now on oh no the hair part so what I do here is use the reference photo her hair is blonde here but I want my, her hair to look red right as a reference so what I do is paint over the red color just so I can have a reference that closer to what I'm trying to get to. I didn't follow the reference like 100% but it's a great guideline for me to know how to put the shadows for the buns because oh my god that was so complicated but I think as I'm working on it it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be so yeah I yeah As I'm looking at her right now, I think it's kind of cute for her to just have the buns part in the front Like without the long hair piece in the back I think it would be cool and cute But it's too late because <laughs> I realize it now as I'm editing this I attempted to change the eye color here But I end up with gold Also, what the hell happened here? I don't know why I didn't notice how weird her nose looked, so I had to pull up the reference to fix the nose here. Oh no, the hand. I don't know why I included the hand here. I mean, the hand was needed in this pose. And you're gonna watch me struggle painting the, the hands. Cause I don't like drawing hand. I'm so bad at it too. The shapes are still kind of loose, that's why I'm using a flat brush here with a darker shade to go over the outlines and also the shadows of the fingers. And I think it doesn't look too bad. Wow, it looks great actually. See, I never doubted myself for a second. Now I'm just refining the shape of the clothes before locking the layer and start shading it. adding the nails here for her and of course it's gotta be red I customized the round brush here so it will be easier and faster for me to draw the purse around her neck oddly enough I really enjoyed um, shading the silver parts here and I think it looks really nice too.
the pearls doesn't look like it belongs there but I create a layer on top clip mask that pearl layer and set it to overlay mode and I used uh, the color of the surrounding and then brush over it lightly near her neck the pearl would have like a reddish color because of her hair reflecting on it and a little bit of the skin color reflecting on it so yeah it does help making the material blend in with the um, other parts of the drawing finally we're at the last step i didn't know what kind of lighting would fit her or like i was looking through reference to see which kind of cool lighting but i didn't really see anything that i like so i'm just picking this one here where it has a very harsh light from the back and yeah i was just playing with the lighting and layers and stuff here's the final product what do you guys think does she look like what you would imagine red would look like as a human please let me know thank you for watching bye